Anna Showalter, and I think I have a great idea of what the cafeteria could serve at lunch. I'm making Italian sausage and cheese calzones, and I think they would taste very yummy. So, our first ingredient that we need is sausage, but if you're making this at home, you might want to do the recipe for six people, and in that case, you would need three-fourths of a pound of Italian sausage. In this case, though, we're making it for 24 people, so we're going to multiply three-fourths by four. And I changed these into decimals because they're easier to multiply than fractions. So first, you're going, so 0.75 times four. And then four times five is 20. And then 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And there are two numbers after the decimal point, so the decimal point goes into, and that's 3 pounds of sausage. You should end up with this. Our dry ingredients are in, and now we're ready to add the water. Look at the sausages. So we made the dough by putting some flour in, mixing it with the yeast, and we ended up just following the directions on the yeast. So yeah, we added in the flour, the water, the yeast, the salt, the sugar, and the vegetable oil. So we're adding in the marinara sauce, and we're just going to kind of mix it up after we added it in. it up so it'll taste like pizza. Um, and then when we're done with this we're going to add in the, the mozzarella. So I am putting the filling on there. That's um, a little bit more. But this is about all you need to fill one. Might actually That's be too cool. much. Uh, yep, that's too much. Take that bit off. And just fold it. And then start crimping it with a fork. So I didn't film them baking, but what we did was we spread egg on all of the calzones and baked them on 400 degrees until the tops were golden brown, usually about 12 to 14 minutes. So, that's just how long you have to so bake So this them. is the finished product. I'm really happy with how it came out. It looks really, really yummy. Um, this was a fun project, and they were really fun to bake.